oh why does everything need to be so difficult? Ugh, I mean, why does the bow peeps of this world get to have the man and the life they want while us villains have to suffer in silence? Not anymore. Not on my watch. I won't stand for this any longer. It's time I get the man and the life. Woody will be all mine. <laughs> Benson! I need you to get me some information about a certain scientist. I'll need him to make me something. <laughs> It's just that, you know what, never mind. I'm okay. No way, Sheriff. Tell me what's wrong. Well, it's about our honeymoon. Or lack of one. There is nowhere nice to bring you in this toy store, and I really wanted to do something special for you. Oh, Woody, you old romantic. I love you for even thinking of that. But please don't be upset. We'll figure something out. And if we don't, we can always just make some time here in the Western. No, oh, Bo, you're really something else, aren't you? Lil Kelly, wakey wakey! Oh, 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 goodness, is it nighttime already? Whoa! Hello, Sharky! Hey, good morning, it is time to fill your boots, get walk around this toy store, and help the local citizens, as per normal. I mean, wait, what do you mean help? What's gone wrong already? I've only literally woken up out of my box. Okay, well, between us, apparently there's going to be a strike, an unofficial strike held by the cheese strings because they don't feel they're getting the, the right amount of spread on a pizza and they feel like that's not helping themselves. Also, the wine bottles and the beer bottles, they're fighting for the shelf on aisle four. I understand it's prime real estate, but they've already been chosen by the shopkeepers. There's nothing they can do about it. There's just so much drama going on around here. Well, look, Sharky, we can't concern ourselves with the problems of the food. They are not our responsibility. Our friends are the toys, and we need to make sure that they're okay. That is true. We still have no idea who kidnapped Bo Peep, who took Buzz's batteries, or Woody's hat, or all those strange dummies who's behind them. We still have to try and figure that out. Yeah, I mean, the wedding was so much fun, and I'm glad that it happened in the end, thanks to us. But... Uh, I don't know, the whole thing just seems really fishy, but now that the wedding's over, there's really nothing to look forward to. That is true, and I did overhear Wood and Buzz talking earlier on, Woody and Buzz. Woody's not happy. Why isn't he happy? I mean, he just married Bo Peep, he should be ecstatic. I mean, he is, and he loves her and all, but he was talking to Buzz about the fact that there's nowhere cool they can go on honeymoon. I mean, the store has everything it has to offer, but those guys have been there, done that. There's no new special place where they could go and celebrate their, their marriage together. Oh, that's true. There's no, like, vacation spot or anywhere nice and quiet where they can just get away to. Well, yeah. look, maybe we could help. Well, how are we going to help? We can't build anything. We're not builders. Yeah, but there is builder dolls in the toy section, and they love building! Any chance they get their hands on some Lego, or any sort of blocks they would love to build. It's just been not a lot of Lego in the store lately, so maybe if we give them a task to do, they can build it for us. That is so true! Why didn't I think of that? Okay, to the builders! That's such a good idea, little Kelly, and when by the time they're finished, I mean, they could probably build them a whole resort. <gasps> that would be so cool, because then everyone would get to enjoy it, too. Oh, okay, so builder section. I can't remember what aisle it's on. Do you? Um, yep, it's over here, I think. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Oh, we'll gosh, right. this is crazy. I mean, um, I, how have we not realized that there's been no cool places to go for a vacation? I don't know. Okay, well, there's I the fire... Not. Man, there's a policeman. Am I on the wrong aisle? I think I might be on the wrong aisle. Uh, I'm, here, I'm here in the aisle with you. I think it might be down the bottom here. Oh, okay. it's, it's with the big boxes. Yeah, look. There it is. There's the builders. Oh, no way. Oh, look. I think I see Bob the Builder. Come on, let's go. Hey, Bob. Long time. How are you and the boys keeping? Oh, hey there, little Kelly. We're all good, thanks. You know, to be honest, myself and the boys are getting a bit bored around here with no work to do. No way. Funny you say that. I think I might have a job for you guys. Really? Oh, that would be great. Well, what's the gig? Well, you see, Woody and Bo Peep got married the other day, and they've nowhere to go on their honeymoon. 
I was thinking maybe you and the other builders could help us build like a luxury hotel for them to spend a few days in. We would be more than happy to help with that, little Kelly. Oh, wait. The only thing is my wife. You know the interior design lady is away with friends. Maybe you guys could help us out with that part. Sure thing, Bob. Thanks again, and we won't let you down. Huh. Okay, Sharky. Well, at least we already have a plan. Bob and the guys are gonna go and start the construction of the Vacation Hotel. Ooh, that is gonna be so awesome. Okay, so, if they're doing that, the one thing Bob did mention is that he, his wife, who's usually the decorations lady, is away for a week. Mm -hmm. So, we offered to help, but how do we know anything about fitting out a hotel? Well, I mean, it can't be so hard. We're in a toy store. There's lots of little furniture and dollhouses. We should go to the store in the daycare. That is true. That is good thinking. Okay, you lead the way. Okay, I this way. I completely forget this place sometimes. Uh, this way, past the Barbies, and then we got a swing. Oh, right, but gosh, I am getting hungry. Okay, uh, oh, it's stuck. Uh, maybe we could pick up some food after this, or maybe, I don't know. Do you have anything on you? Of course I have some stuff on me. That wouldn't be like me if I didn't have some stuff on me. Hold mm. on, let me just double check what do I've got. Oh, oh yes. I can't go I shopping have. on an empty stomach. It's not a good idea. Oh, pizza! Mmm, okay. Sharky. I, I probably got a bit of pizza. I'm not gonna lie. Why do you have so much pizza? Did you make a deal with the food again? I did, I did. Okay, I told the pizza I'd help the cheese slices get off their back, but I promised lifetime supply oh. of cheese pizza. What have I told you to involve in yourself with the drama with the food? It never ends well for us. Do you remember what the king cheese the last time? He was awful. <laughs> He was off a little Kelly. Lifetime supply of cheese. Okay, Chucky. This is the store. We need to fit out an entire hotel by ordering stuff out of here. So we need to think of everything we may need. Okay, let's go aisle by aisle. We're obviously going to need to look at... Ooh, flat screen TVs for mm -hmm. every room. No, no, no. Okay. Big ones for the suites. Little ones for the normal rooms. Wait, you can trade suites for this? Sweets, oh as in like the bigger room, Sharky, like the honeymoon suite. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so we should order how many? Twelve to fourteen sweets. We should order fourteen big TVs uh -huh. and another hundred and ten of these small ones for the smaller room. Well, how do we know how big the place is gonna be? Hmm. Oh, want a to pool fill out table. My box. We're gonna need to have like a games room so people can chill out and shoot some pool. Ooh, and then we need all the the, the, the billard pool cues and the balls all in here. We need all this too. Okay, okay. <gasps> a fountain. Mm -hmm. We need a water fountain. Wait, oh, that's a bird bat, Chucky. Oh, wait, birds take baths? Oh, come on. All right. Oh, perfect. Look, sun loungers. We're going to need a ton of these because it's going to have a swimming pool and some umbrellas as well. Ooh. Oh, drum kit for a band that might play, you know? We could make this a whole business, Sharky. We could make some serious money off this hotel. Oh, okay, we got punch bags for the gym, guillotine for customers that don't pay their bill, and cannons to keep off other hotels. Uh, let's keep the weapons to a minimum. We want people to be relaxed when they're at the hotel, not be fearing for their toy life. Okay, that is true. Oh, look, we got um, we got a nativity set for Christmas. We've got uh, piano. a piano. Okay, give us a tune, Sharky. Go on. Okay. <clears throat> Sing me a song, you're the piano man. Sing me a song tonight. Cause myself and Killy are building hotels. And Buddy and Bo P will be alright. Oh, woohoo! That was really good. Okay. Yeah, that was actually like great. Okay, <laughs> look, we've got a ton of Christmas stuff in here, but it is not Christmas yet. Did you know that it's 17 weeks till Christmas? Get out of here. 17 weeks. I'm so excited. Okay. but <gasps> We got coolers by the pool. We oh, need yeah, we need day. them. Oh, a fish tank for the reception because people love fishes. Fish tanks That's in receptions. True. That is true. We got um trash bins that we're going to need. Washer dryers. Oh, don't forget the spikes to keep the zombies no, away. No, 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 mm -hmm. Sharky. No spikes, no weapons. It's a relaxing resort. We're going to need some of these cabinets as well. Some dressers, vanities. So we pretty much need the whole store bar the weapons. Wait, wait, wait. Can we get one of these? Can we call it um, Anchors Down Hotel? Sure. Why not? We could put it in the reception. It could be a feature. <gasps> okay. okay a harp. We... Maybe we could get a harpist. I mean, okay. Toilets. We need a ton of toilets. Every room is going to need a bathroom. And then we need some showers for the communal shower area. Oh, there's so much to buy. Okay. Well, 
We're gonna have to do some sort of payment plan because I definitely can't afford all this stuff. Can you? No, me neither. We should put it on Batman's account. I mean, he's a billionaire. Yeah, good idea. Okay, let's see and go over. We're gonna need to order. Hot tub! Yeah, we definitely need a hot tub. Okay, wait, can, can I get in too? Oh! <gasps> Baby. Okay, there's Ow. definitely not enough space for the two of us in this thing. Okay. Okay, listen. We'll get up a list here, get as much as we can, put it all on Batman's account, and then we'll meet the builders back in the spot, get the place all decked out, and then we can tell Woody and Bo Peep what we've done. Okay, I have a huge order for you. Get a pen and paper, miss. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> uh, you gotta love flamethrowers. Uh, I should totally make one. <laughs> oh, hey there. Uh, w what can I do for you, miss? Well, Rick, I heard you're the best scientist in the game. And I need the best if I'm gonna get what I want. Hmm. Sounds dangerous. Uh, I'm in. What are we building? Is it a flamethrower? Because I was just about to build one. What? No, you idiot. I don't need a flamethrower. I need a love potion. One that's strong and irresistible and will take immediate effect. Ah, potions. Uh, no, no thanks, lady. I, I don't mess with those kind of things. But hey, if you change your mind about that flamethrower, uh, I'll, I'll do you a, a, a good price. I don't think you understand the situation, Rick. I want my love potion, and I want it now! Okay, okay, just please don't hurt me. Ah, <sighs> well that's me done for the day. Time for this sheriff to clock off and go home to the wife. <laughs> Uh, Gabby Gabby, what are you doing here? I thought I'd never have to see your face ever again. Now, now, Woody. Is that any way to speak to the woman you love? What? Have you lost your mind? I don't love you. Wait a second. Bo Peep was taken last week and my hat the week before. You're behind all this, aren't you? I guess you caught me, Woody. Now, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> well, first thing is you're going to go straight to jail, Gabby. Or maybe you could have some of this first. <laughs> What the? What was that? Wow, you're so beautiful. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> it worked. Now I have the perfect man. <laughs> okay, well, Bob said to meet him over here. We'd finished ordering all the stuff. She said that a lot of it could be delivered right away, so hopefully... Ooh. Oh... My what is it? Goodness. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Is it good? Is it good? Sharky, it's amazing! Look at this place! It's new! Ah, how did the builders do this so quickly? Oh my days! Look, they've got um, a cocktail reception. They look like... Ooh, they look like those Bellini things. They look delicious. Mm. We got the sunbeds we ordered. I mean, the look, This is like the ordered. VIP section of the sun loungers like we wanted. Then we've got everyone else is here. Oh look! A delivery's here! Hot tubs! What have we got? TVs. Okay, we gotta put them into some rooms. Oh my gosh. Builders, you're doing such a good job. Look at this hotel. It's so stunning. Oh my gosh. They even added a dance floor. No, they didn't. Maybe we could get that guy. What's his name? Um, David Ganetta. Oh no. Hold on. David Cornetto. David Cornetto. He's a massive DJ player. He plays like pizza and he plays in all those cool places. Rumor has it he played them all yesterday. What? No way, that sounds so cool. Oh my gosh, all this excitement is making me so hungry. But look, nice. Sharky, a little tiki bar as well. With a little tiki cow. I mean, look at him, he's so cute. Ooh, oh my gosh, the guests are gonna love that they have some animals to play with too. Mr. Ikers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mr. Ikers. Look, diving boards! <clears throat> no way. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Okay, you, I, I don't want to do the higher one. I'm doing the higher one. We got to test no. out, Shaggy. We got to test out the no. things in our hotel, okay? I'll, I'll try this one. Oh, wow. It's so high up. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. Woo! Oh, this pool is huge. This is awesome. 
Oh my gosh, Shaggy, this is gonna be a great success. I already know it. Okay, okay, listen, we got this place looks awesome. Maybe it's time to tell Woody. Oh, you're right. Woody and Bo Peep need to get here. Okay, uh, Mr. Builderman, I need you to move these hot tubs into the suites on the top floor. I also need the big TVs on the top floor and then the rest of the TVs in the smaller rooms. Thank you so much. Okay, Shaggy, let's head to the Western and see if we can find them. The Western? No, they should be by their boxes. Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. They did say, well, like, you were talking to him, I wasn't, so I'm not sure. That is true, that is true. Do you know what, actually? You're probably right. They probably are holding up in the West End. I mean, why would they be by their boxes? They are planning for their honeymoon. Oh, we didn't tell them about the honeymoon. Exactly. Oh, it's okay, going to be go such a good su subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. <laughs> like, a surprise, go ahead, I meant to say. But if you want to subscribe, guys, go ahead. Okay, well, look, we need to go and talk to them. I'm so excited. I mean, oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe we've organized all of this in a day. We really are good at this thing, Sharky. Good at this thing? We're the best. Where I are mean, you going? To the western. Where is it? This way. Oh, my bad. How don't you my know bad. this stuff by now? Because this place is humongous. It's so big. Okay, come on. Let's just get in there, talk to Woody, and uh, then we can get them on their honeymoon. Hey, Bo, what's going on? Where's Woody? I was kind of hoping you guys could tell me. I mean, he was meant to be here in over an hour ago. What, really? That's so unlike Woody. Maybe he just got stuck at the tavern. I already went in and asked. They said he left there with some other girl. I think he stood me up for another woman. No way, Bo Peep. That's ridiculous. What in the world? What are you doing with her, Woody? That's the crazy person who held me hostage on our wedding day. What? That's the bad guy. I, I mean, girl, she's the one causing all of this chaos around the store? It sure is. Woody, you have to stop her. Yeah, Woody, do something. Hey, back off. That's my wife you're talking about. What? Woody, what are you talking about? Bo Peep is your wife. Yeah, good try, little Kelly. I know where my heart belongs. And from this day forward, anyone who tries to mess with my Gabby will be put behind bars forever. Let's get out of here, my love. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> He's left me. Woody left me for her. What the? Uh, I can't believe this. I mean... Woody and Bo? And what Woody being with that that girl? Gabby, Gabby, I heard her name was. What is going on? Apparently she's some sort of bad girl. She's the one behind everything? This is so strange. What is he doing with her? You think Woody's lost his mind? Yeah, obviously. I mean, why would he leave Bo Peep? They literally only just got married. I mean, we did the whole wedding thing at the back of the Western, and now. No, he's already left her. Something is going on here. These things that are happening are all too strange, if you ask me. Yeah. So it's like a full episode of Stranger Things in here. Things are just getting stranger and stranger and stranger. And now everyone's like strangers. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. And I have no idea who we could go to help to with all this. Well... Speaking of stranger things, Woody is a sheriff in town, but he's not the only sheriff in town. We should go talk to Hopper. Maybe he'll know if something suspicious has happened today that we need to know about that may piece together why Woody has done all of this. <gasps> Genius, little Kelly, and he's just outside here. I mean, his box is literally just around here to the left. Such a good idea. And if he can help us, maybe he can, I don't know, uh, become the number one sheriff for a week or something. What do you mind, let him? Oh, oh, there he is up there. Okay, let's go up and meet him. Hopper, thank goodness you're in. I really need your help. Oh, no. Has the alien got out again? I swear, those kids keep leaving the gate open. No, Hopper, that's not it. It's Woody, he's in trouble. Oh, well if the fellow sheriff needs help, what can I do? Well, we kind of need information about any strange going-ons in the store today. Woody seems to have lost his mind. It's like he's been brainwashed. Is there anyone in the store that could do such a thing? Hmm. Well, there's Bendy, but he seems to be keeping a low profile these days. Then again, Lotso has been on the move the last few days, but I don't really think he has the smarts to pull something like that off. 
Yeah, only one other person I can think of is Rick, but he wouldn't do anything like that. But, you know, he did have his lab on lockdown today. Nobody was allowed in or out. That's kind of strange, don't you think? Hopper, you're the greatest. We'll start with Rick. Thanks! Alright, Sharky, that's all for here. We gotta go and figure this out. I mean, he said that Rick has been acting suspicious. Hmm, he did. He did say Lotso's been on the move for the last few days, and... You know, I know Lotso helped us out the last time, so I don't think Lotso was behind this. Nor do I think Lotso will help out Gabby Gabby, unless it's some sort of weird kind of trick they're working together. But from what I know about Lotso, he likes to be the number one villain. He doesn't like to share the spotlight. Well, think about it, okay? Woody is acting crazy like someone is messing with his mind. And Rick is a scientist and his lab was on lockdown today. So if you are asking me, I think he's our prime suspect. Maybe it was a, some sort of prank gone wrong, and when he figured out what happened, he locked down his laboratory so that no one would find him. Maybe. Okay, well, let's see if we can find him. Let's have a look around. Hmm, we need to find the Rick that has the lab. That's not that Rick. Not that Rick. No, none of these Ricks. In fact, there's an empty Rick box up the top there, but Rick wouldn't be so silly just to have a lab in plain sight. I mean, oh, I, I found it. Wait, what? It, it, there's literally a door right here. You found his lab, but is it locked? Is it locked? Let's let's okay. bang on it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wait. He's hardly just put a lab at the back of his box. That's not so secret, if you ask me. But no. <clears throat> where is he? I don't know. I mean, look at this place. <gasps> look. He's a book of potions, and his alchemy set is all burning, and has like weird kind of bottles going on. Maybe he's after creating something. Hmm, but where is he? <gasps> Shrekky, well, there's a door at the back. <gasps> there is a door at the back. Sh should we open it? I mean, I guess so. On the count of three, you ready? Okay, if there's someone behind here, you gotta come out. Okay, you ready? One, One two, two, three! three. Rick! Ah, please don't hurt me. <laughs> not in the face. Please, not in the face. Rick, calm down, it's only me. What's going on? Why are you hiding? Oh, thank goodness, I, I thought you were the crazy lady back for more potions. She really gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, guys, w you want to try out my new flamethrower? What? No, Rick. Was this crazy lady you speak of wearing a yellow dress? Uh, it sure was. Okay, Rick, listen carefully. We need all the information regarding the potion you said you made for her, and we need an antidote fast. Uh, sure thing, but first, you, you guys like stink bombs? No, Rick. The antidote. Now. Okay, well, at least Rick gave it to us in the end, Sharky, because it didn't look like he was going to there for a second. I know. I mean, we finally got the antidote. Whatever he did creating this love potion for Gabby Gabby, we can finally fix it, bring Woody back to normality, bring him back to Bo, and maybe even get Gabby behind bars. Oh my gosh, this is going to work perfectly. But all we have to do now is find where Gabby and Woody are. I mean, this place is huge. She could be anywhere. Okay, let's narrow it down. Mm -hmm. There's no way she would have moved into Woody's toy box because she's not that silly. She knows everyone would separate them. There couldn't be any way she's moved into the Western because the same thing again. No one would let them live in peace there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's think about it. It could be... Could be. Okay. The toy box in the daycare. That's where we found the dummies before. Or... Ooh. The dollhouse in the daycare, because that's where Ken found the dummy before. Hmm. I mean, Ken did put that place up for sale because he's not happy with the fact that everyone could get in and out. He said it's, he's always been nervous the way it lacks a front wall, which I totally understand. Yeah, I mean, it's not great for the bacon. But also, when Woody's hat was stolen, that one was in the toy box. But Buzz's batteries were found in the kitchen. Wait a second. Could have been the kitchen. Well, the very Wait. first time. I mean, where did we find Bullseye that time? That's exactly what I was gonna say. Bullseye. We found him in the dumpsters, but that was like a fortress. She had tons of those little um, guard dummy things. They were everywhere. Maybe she's done a full circle and she's back there. I mean, I think logically, it's a good place to start, Sharky. 
Okay, but I think, little Kelly, you're going to need this. Oh. If we're going to head over there, we are definitely going to need some sort of weapons. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's going to be tons yeah. of those dolls everywhere, and they're not going to want us to get up there and get Woody back so easy. That is true, but I am ready to go. Okay, we got to stick together on this one, Sharky, because... She is a crazy lunatic. I mean, who uses a love potion on a guy who just got married? You are asking for trouble, if you're asking me. I, I wouldn't mess with Bo Peep. I mean, she's quite the ninja with that staff of hers. Mm -hmm. She seems very sweet, but Bo Peep from Toy Story 4? Mm -mm -mm. Don't mess with that chick. Nope. Oh. She is one independent lady, and she does not need no shirt. That is true. Okay, let me see. I find it really difficult to get in this keyhole. Ugh. Okay, you gotta aim inside it. Yeah, I am, but it's not giving me enough leeway. Oh, oh that's good. Got job. it. That's good. That's oh, a good job. Got good, it. Job. good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, okay, okay. We need to be careful. They could be everywhere all over this storage room. Okay, let's try to take higher ground and see if we can get a better look. Okay, once we get higher ground, buttons out at the ready. Okay. I got my baseball bat, so it was in the okay. trash can. But which one was it? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I remember you could clearly see it once you got close to it because it was like, uh, it was all kind of weird kind of colors, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Maybe we'll get to... <gasps> there it is. Look, the dummies! Okay, drop down here. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta be careful. Thank goodness for these long fall boots. I mean, everything else will hurt loads. That is so true. Okay, okay. There's more dummies here. I can say that I safely assume that Woody and Gabby Gabby are inside of here. So I need to go in there, and then I gotta throw the antidote at Woody, and we need to defeat all the dummies too. So are you okay, ready for this? Okay, but we can't just throw the antidote at Woody. I mean, Gabby Gabby is smart. She could step in front of it, hit the antidote, hit her, and then that's the only antidote we have. Oh, we have to okay. provoke Woody. Yeah. We have to like get him to think that we're here to hurt Gabby. And then if he comes forward for you, that's when you hit him with the potion. Perfect. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. Well, first we gotta get past these dummies. You. Oh. What? I have an idea. What? I want to go full ninja on them. I reckon we grapple onto the bin, mm -hmm. and then when we're ready, we let go of our grapples, land behind them, and knock them out. Oh, I like that loads. Okay, let's do it. Like here. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Right here. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, they know. Do we're it, here. do it, do it. I'm sorry, my grapple. Surprise is off. Oh, oh. Go, 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 go get, 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 get him. Okay, I got that one. Okay. Whoa! Take him out. Oh, okay. okay. You get upstairs. I'm okay. going to take these guys out. Get out of here. Get out of my way. Okay, Sharky, you get them out. I'm going. Go, go, go. Uh -oh. Uh oh Open, open, open. Okay, you keep fighting them, Sharky. Uh-oh. There's more up here. But wait. Woody and Gabby, Gabby are here. Uh, get back, Kick dummies. Uh, yeah. Woody, you need to come with us back to Bo Peep, your wife. And you need to arrest Gabby Gabby. She's evil. Now, now, little Kelly, these are mean words that you're using. Woody, darling, are you going to let them talk to me like that? Over my dead body. Wait, Woody, before you do anything crazy, why don't you have some of this? What the? Ugh, that tastes horrible. What was in that? Pineapple? Yuck. Oh, hey, guys, what are you doing here? Woody, you're back! Thank you, Rick! Wait, Gabby Gabby, what did you do? All I remember was you throwing something at me and now I'm... I'm here. Woody, Gabby Gabby tricked you with the love potion and you left Bo Peep for her! She's the one that's been stealing from you and she also tried to ruin your wedding. Well, I guess there's only one thing I need to do before getting my lady back and going on my honeymoon. And that is to put you, Gabby Gabby, behind bars. <laughs> 